Welcome back, everybody, to Riverbird with me, Looney Farm Guy. I believe this is episode 19 already. <clears throat> um, as you can see, it's early spring. Uh, the ground has thawed. It's not uh, warm enough to plant anything, at least not yet today. Uh, but we have work to do. Uh, we have, as you can see, we have purchased a plow. A very large plow. <laughs> but uh, the old cat here should uh, handle her no problem as long as we can get her over there without knocking over a bunch of stuff. Yes, so we're going to merge those fields now that the ground has... Oh yeah, we'll get through here no problem. Um, we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to go around though. Uh, we spent yesterday just kind of prepping vehicles, getting the cedars loaded up. Uh, I uh, we, we, we bought another cedar, uh, the John Deere one, uh, just for an alternative, uh, something the, uh, the workers can run. Um, we'll probably go take a look at that afterwards. I want to get started on uh, getting these fields plowed out and together. Oh, wait a minute. Is there stuff in there? Oh. There's something growing in there already. Hmm. Well, now. What is it? Uh, looks like wheat and oats. Well, so much for that plan. I thought they were empty. Well. Silly me. Uh, we got grass in here. We don't want any more grass. We got plenty of grass. Um, I guess they planted some winter crops and they're, they're coming in. Well, um, okay. Slight change of plans. We will we'll plow this piece out uh, because this... Uh, let's get... Get something done while we're here, anyways. Uh, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Keeping it straight. It's always a little bit tricky trying to maintain. Okay, we want to create fields. Um, there we go. We're going to widen out those, uh, th at least this side, a little bit to match. The other side might be a little bit... We might have to do a little bit of uh, fancy uh, fancy footwork, as it were. Um, so we're going to uh, say we're going to plow out this side. Uh, let's see. We're going to lose a little bit of the side of the crop here, but that's okay. Um, this, uh, this, this field to my left kind of extends out a little bit, uh, in towards the highway, but none of, but these other two fields don't as much. So, and it's going to interfere with our silo we built uh, along the road there. To, uh, if if we extend it out, and um, I'd like to leave it pretty much where this is. I'm going to have a quick look at our PDA here. Uh, yeah, so you see that it sticks out. It's kind of a more more well, and if we do that, we're going to interfere with our silo here. So I'm we're going to re uh, restore that piece there to uh, natural grass uh, where the uh, planters see like if, if we, we we can we can not do anything with it but if they if at any point we hire a worker to do something he's gonna go over that spot because it is um, it is basically arable land 
so we're going to uh, have to get a uh, a, a roller to uh, we're going to lose a little bit that one strip basically we're going to lose this cropland but I don't mind um, it's going to keep this this one side well <laughs> that that was very straight but more or less straight we can touch that up with the roller too um, it's going to keep it more or less uh, a straight line instead of having a bit of a jagged edge on the end I like square I like square stuff and straight lines I know it's not all possible in farming and never is usually I rarely see a straight line on a farmer's field anywhere but um, it does um, it does make for uh, well when when you have hired workers they don't deal with non um, non-linear things <laughs> they're non-linear thinking um, so this is going to be quite the way we're going to do a little bit of plow out here um, well, you know what we can that side is going to be difficult with this wide plow we can wait we're going to have a crop there and we're going to uh, we're going to leave it uh, leave it like this we will uh, almost done here actually I'm um, going to finish this up and we'll go grab the lime no coconut oh, excuse me London's calling. They want their beef eater back. Anyways, okay, uh, <laughs> um, let's go park. I don't, is this gonna fit in our massive garage? Garage? If it does, I'm gonna be like, oh, it's looking. Is it? Is it? <laughs> is it gonna? Ooh, in Oh wow! <laughs> no, it's it's gonna be a bit hard. Wow. Okay. Cool. It just fits through that door. I love this. I love this shed. That is, the, 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 this shed has probably the largest door that I. I mean, there could be others. I looked for a long time for a, a shed with a big, nice, large. Uh, door. And uh, this was. Uh, well, that's gonna be in the way. Well, let's. Let's park it up over here for now. Um, okay. It'll have to stay there for a bit. Because... Okay, shut it down. Let's get out. Okay, let's go... Uh, I'm going to tag... We've, uh, we've kind of lined up uh, our equipment here, ready to go. Uh, we got a cultivator there up on that uh, Voltra. We got our lime here. Uh, we got uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> it's the uh, the Cavernland uh, cedar uh, with the Cavernland Cavernland. Oh, I can't talk today. DF2 uh, extra seed tank on the front that will come in quite handy. I don't know why the hoses haven't hooked up. Um, well, I'll get those up later. Uh, we got our cedar that we've had for a while. And, um, here we go. We got the lime. I'm gonna go lime those field, those, uh, that grass field. Soon to be not a grass field. Little ass heavy on this. Uh, even with that weight on the front, that's okay. This little guy seems to be able to handle it. We'll go for a quick little trip here. We're gonna hit this with a bit of quick lime. We might, uh, you know what? Uh, we'll get this limed up. 
and we'll zip over with a cultivator and we'll throw some uh, we'll throw some rice in here too while we're at it um, why not right we got some land to get some fresh land oh we won't be able to seed today though unless later today it gets unless uh, the temp uh, the ground temperature ground temperature we're gonna if we seed now we're probably gonna not see it germinate or we'll have pretty poor poor germination so best not to do that we got plenty of time it's early spring uh, we're not uh, it's it's not worth having to have a failed germination and have to go reseed that would not be that would not be fun or profitable but um, yeah so oh, this should yeah so there we so we'd um, what else um, yeah we've sold off as you can see our our, our, our cash situation is uh, a nice plump 2.2 .2 mil um, that's 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 a lot of good capital um we're definitely going to uh well i mean let me say lots that that's that's some good capital to look at we're gonna have to assess uh how we're going to expand we're going to get to uh, look at uh there there is a limit to uh to equipment though in a way too many different kinds of equipment the uh <laughs> the, uh, the, the the local government has uh, allotted uh, so many slots for for um, for equipment, shall we say? And uh, we're getting fairly close to that uh, limit. Not uh, not dangerously close yet, but um, if we get too many different kinds of equipment, it uh, it'll add up quick. So. Um, that's something to be conscious of. Um, I mean, but I'm like I said, it's not too bad yet. We we might look. I mean, we're starting to get to the to to the size now where perhaps uh, perhaps we can uh, upgrade our uh, cult, maybe our harvester. Um, we can maybe uh, get them. Uh, upgrade it to uh, both the large size ones maybe even get another one have all three of them you know, have three of them two workers and um, maybe get another trailer uh, depends on what uh, the what this uh, rice yields at uh, don't really don't not sure haven't planted rice yet so um, we're going to find out uh, of course we have some other crop here uh, that's been pre-planted when we bought the fields. Um, and so, yeah, pretty normal-ish kind of early spring, uh, pre-spring kind of um, prep work here. Um, yeah, I, as far as equipment and stuff, um, yeah, uh, that's pretty... Pretty, I mean, kind of nothing too crazy exciting. Uh, let's see here. Let's get this puppy park back up in here. We can actually do. We can actually do a little. We can. We can cultivate at least. Anyways, let's go do that. And let's run the cultivator over it. Let's see which one do I want to grab here. We'll grab this one. Guess I could have grabbed the other one, but we're in this one already. Um, yeah, so we can uh, tilt that up there and let's say put some rice in there. Not yet, but we'll get it ready. Everything else is ready. Uh, we look quick look at our PDA here. Uh, all cultivated. Uh, our fields here. 
Uh, of course, nothing's growing. We'll get back up there and growing. Composition, all fully fertilized there, ready to seed. Uh, here we're at kind of a stage one, stage two, but this will kind of fix that. We'll get this, uh, we'll get the... There we go. We'll get this tilled up here in a second. Whoa, this trailer's, this cultivator's just a little bit, doesn't like being backed up too much. Yeah, so I forget. I, I don't remember seeing crop in there when I bought it, but then maybe I didn't look too closely. It's just like we had, the opportunity came up, of course, to get this, this whole strip here. Um, and kind of, uh, I was kind of looking ahead, I guess, too far. <laughs> looking a little too far forward about uh, making uh, making this a nice big field. Well, that'll happen next year. Uh, once, uh, actually, once uh, once harvest is over, we can uh, we can. Uh, I'm gonna have to be whoa, uh -huh. chewing up some profit there. Let's let's go this way and just do give it a little bit of a berth there. I don't want to cut up too much of that crop that I already have. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Uh, we can try out the Converland uh, planter cedar um, here, I guess. First, just to give it a little tryout once the uh, runs the ground temp warms up a bit, and um, yeah, I mean we're gonna t we're gonna cultivate in that grass. We got so much. We got more grass than we know what to do with already. <laughs> so uh, so that's uh, that's what we're gonna do with that. We'll we'll seed in that little extra spot there. We won't worry about doing anything with that until until we do the big project here and and uh, and merge this whole and then once I get next next year is coffee planned so um, that's gonna be interesting um, that's that's on the docket for next year so this will be all coffee and we'll uh, we, we might we might try another I mean we, we got a couple of we a small field that we can, I mean, we can do the three main fields in, in coffee and then maybe try, uh, try our hand at another, uh, another crop, um, as a kind of a test field. Just to, uh, just to, you know, make things a little bit more interesting. And, uh, you see there, we have lots of land out here, out this way. Vast tracts of land. Uh, for us to possibly expand into um, so far the uh, I mean, we're trying we got uh, we got lots of cash so we, uh, we're gonna look into uh, you know improving the community a bit uh, a bit more maybe uh, um, I don't know like um, like con contribute like building building a um, a market area or something. Uh, we have a little bit of one going by the store there, but there's there's uh, there's lots of land out uh, this way. There, I know there's some another there's some other farm areas we can. I don't know. We'll just have to. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, we certainly aren't short of cash here, and we've we've. Uh, We've contributed to the uh, biogas plant there. We'll be building that uh, that nice big uh, machine shed. Uh, what else? Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. We could even expand a little north across. There's a little bridge that's with access north across the river there. There's uh, there's some nice land up there. Um, yeah, I mean, we could even... Uh, we've, we've taken a bit of uh, farmland and expanded our farm area. We can... We can probably do a little bit of more of that to kind of expand our farmyard there a little bit to, uh... I mean, we, I, I do really like that, uh... That silo. It, it, it unloads very rapidly compared to this, uh, this uh, spare one we put up here. I think... I think we're going to look at uh, investing in uh, some extensions for that, or even just put up another one. Actually, oh, that might be that might be the smartest thing, I guess. <laughs> Trying to squeeze it in there, we can we can we can set another one of those silos just uh, just on the other side of the farmyard. There, there's plenty of room there. I think maybe we do we might, maybe we might do that. Uh, Let's see. I mean, it does hold a fair bit. We only the the only time we got we got to, to you know maxed out was with the wood chips. So I mean, and that's not going to be a forever thing. We might we might get rid of that wood silo there once we're done with the uh, with the wood chips. It was cheap enough to build. It was just a kind of more more or less. It was just a kind of a temporary thing, anyways. Uh, thirty thousand dollars is not it's not a lot of money for some for, for 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 what we made on wood chips it was like definitely paid paid for itself so uh, let's go up over here just to make it make a little bit different um, so we're still we're still going organic um, and we might uh, Actually, but, uh, I mean those those new fields. They don't uh, they don't have any any fertilization whatsoever. Uh, we're doing all right here, but we're cultivating. Um, you know, for for the sake of um, you know the local farmers and such, uh, we might. Um, I think we might, we, we, we have time today, I think we might, uh, well, later today it might be another, uh, might be another episode where, uh, we're clicking along here, but, um, I might even, even do that, uh, even, we might even, we'll do that. I think we're gonna go, uh, get a manure spreader. Uh, we can buy manure locally. And, um, We'll, uh, we're gonna go fertilize, at least put one, you know, round of fertilizer on uh, those fields there. And um, help ourselves out a little bit, uh, increase the yield a bit. Uh, that would probably help out and um, help out the local economy there, buying some uh, manure off the farmers. I think manure is probably the I mean, we could go slurry too, but oh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna. That's not gonna pass the grade. Um, yeah. So that that's gonna have to look at uh, what we have for manure spreaders. I know that uh, stuff doesn't. Uh, I mean, you go through it pretty quick. So, got a bit of an idea though. Um. Yeah. I think um, there's there's some bigger manure spreaders with some big quantities out there, and um, <clears throat> that auger wagon of ours will uh, will actually hold manure. We can use we can have that as a, as a uh, refill point. Um, we should uh, that should depending on how fast we go through it spreading it. Sometimes it goes pretty fast. I think that we should be all right, even if we have to go refill the uh, refill it once or something like that um, to get enough. But uh, I think that might work. So 
fairly big field, but not overly humongous. So, I'm going to finish this off here. Might as well just let you watch me finish it off. I've been skipping through a lot of stuff lately, so... We can do this. We just relax. Just a little, little, little cultivate a little bit here and cultivate a little bit there. Uh, I might have mentioned this before. The uh, it's kind of like the Bob Ross of farming. Uh, that's why, <laughs> that's why I called. Uh, kind of mentioned to Mr. CDP once or twice, maybe it. Yeah, he reminds me. Uh, he he would. He's kind of the equivalent to the uh, Bob Ross of farming. So if you don't don't know who Bob Ross is, and I think I've probably talked about this before, maybe not. Um, he's um, he did, did uh, he had a TV show. He's a, he was a, he was an artist, a painter, and um, basically he would uh, each episode he would paint a picture and he would talk. The way he talked, though, it's like happy little cloud and a, and a happy little bush here. And it's just like the most calming, chill kind of person to listen to uh, explain how to, like, what he was doing. He was basically doing a, a job, right? Uh, painting a picture. But <laughs> uh, sadly, he's passed on. Uh, but... Um, he lives on in uh, in many ways, and uh, kind of Mr. CDP. He's kind of that. He's got that very calming, like um, just voice that you can just listen to. And no matter what he, he can, he could read you the he could read the you know phone book, and you'd be kind of relaxed just listening to him. So try to uh, you know I'm, myself. I try to. Uh, I mean, this is supposed to be, uh, you know, a happy, like a fun, just a relaxing game. It's not, it's no, uh, in, nothing intense happening. No one, intense battles or explosions or anything. <laughs> so, um, but uh, there we are. Um, I'm going to park this. Um, I guess we'll park it for the year, pretty much, because that's... That's about uh, the rest of it's all cultivated and ready to go. That uh, always has crops, so uh, I'm going to park this and we're going to... Oh, actually, these don't be need to be in the shed. They're pretty sturdy. Uh, whoa. Pretty sturdy units. We're going to park this soap over here beside the other ones. And... Just nice and... Back it up. These are. It's funny the short little ones, uh, the ones that they, they react so quickly to any little movement when you're backing up. They, uh, there we go. All right, we will talk to you in a bit. So we're back at the uh, Minier buy point uh, for our last load. <clears throat> it's quite a handy little place here. It's got a they, they buy some stuff and well sell manure, support the local economy. Um, we're just about done there. We're gonna go. Oh, I. <clears throat> 
as you've seen the uh, I had to uh, had to switch up the tractor uh, that other little uh, the little vaults are just uh, it's okay empty but this uh, veneer is pretty heavy even this uh, this guy should probably put the weight on the front but he does okay just this this one hill here is she's struggling a little bit not too bad that's a lot of manure probably pretty you know wet and heavy I would imagine <clears throat> but um, um, our helper will probably be empty by the time we get back there it is already tanks empty so we'll go refill him we'll have some left over but I think we're just gonna go and uh, be a little a little sneaky and throw it in the biogas plant there and let it chew on something big biogas monster <clears throat> and we'll see uh, then I think we're gonna be done for the day that's enough uh, that's enough for one day I would say well, at least for this morning we'll see if the ground temp still hovering at uh, like three so I don't <clears throat> I don't know if we'll see don't know if we'll see that come up. That might be a problem because um, we're going to go refill. <coughs> sorry. We're going to refill this guy. And then we're going to look at the planting temperatures because I thought coffee was going to be our next uh, crop. But if we don't. Um, it requires a somewhat warm oh he's almost done like literally just the last little tiny little bit here oh, come on there we go um, yeah so we're planting rice which is which we're going to be fine coffee is the one I'm worried about because uh, rice, yeah, we got we got plenty. It's six degrees, so we only need a couple more degrees. Coffee needs seven, but it grows so slowly <clears throat> um, that um, we only got the day one to uh, plant. And if you don't hit, we don't hit seven degrees, uh, we're not planting coffee because on the first day that is, it'll it'll hit seven on the second day, but. Um, yeah, it's going to be touch and go. Okay, let's, uh, let's get him, uh, finishing this off. It looks like, I think this is on its first stage of growth. So, yeah, 33%. Um, so, I mean, I could, I could hold on to the manure, but... We can buy some more. We'll throw some in the. <clears throat> I'll put in the big bio monster there and let them let them chomp away at us for a bit. And we'll get some more manure when the uh, stage two there of growth um, will hit. I think we're at stage. So I mean, we'll 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 be able to get three rounds of fertilizer on there. And it just needs a little bit of patience. Since we took over the field before, uh, okay, we need to go this way. Whoa! Uh, I don't know, we're going the right way. Yeah. All turns around. Still a bit of weight on there. I haven't tipped her over yet, though. Don't know what that, oh, I guess I just missed a little bit of cultivating there. So, oh, whoa, don't, yeah, that's a bit of weight behind there. It's pushing me around a bit. We'll be okay scooting across here. Kind of one of those farm roads where, well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Just make your own road going across something. Guess we could always. It's, oh, I wonder if the grass. We can cut the grass. We'll have to pull the old rush out. See if we can. Uh, 
Um, cut some grass early. Some early grass cutting. We'll see. We'll dump this in the, uh, the old biogas plant. And, um, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so that's our... Uh, that's our... Uh, <laughs> I had a bit of change of plans. I kind of went from, hey, we're going to do this, and then it's like, oh, I guess we're not going to do that because of this and that, and so we do this instead. So so here we are. We're doing this instead. I hope you enjoyed the uh, episode. It's a little bit more time lapse than I'd like to do usually in an episode, but kind of, you know, kind of shows what's been done and keeps the episodes a little bit shorter and a little bit easier to watch and uh, thank you for all for watching I'm Lumi Farm Guy and uh, throw a like on it if you like it subscribe if you haven't and uh, remember it's a game have fun um, till next time bye for now <laughs>